E3 here, woke up a few hours ago. I would highly recommend to every human being on the planet, as much as possible, upon waking, connect with your unique vibration and or one of the five energies, which are gateways to and from your unique vibration. So the gateways are the body, the breath, one of the three minds, so the three minds are the passive machine mind, the active machine mind, and the living mind. So you connect with one of those three minds. And I would highly recommend connecting with the active machine mind, which will lead to the living mind. The third energy, or that is the third energy. So there's the body, the breath, one of the three minds. Choose which one to connect with. The fourth energy of the stillness, or listening, or receptivity. And the fifth energy of the mystery. So upon waking, let go of everything else and do your best to connect with, especially the stillness and your unique vibration. And then the next step, step number two, choose to do something uncomfortable that will help you connect with the truth of who you are. Could be something as simple as uh, sitting up and taking one deep breath. It could be something something simple like I do, going in a freezing cold shower. Could be literally anything else that helps you connect with the truth of who you are before you bring that truth to the world. So again, step one, connect with your unique vibration, aka get into your unique flow state first thing in the morning. And what's connected to your unique vibration and your unique flow state? Losing track of time, space, the passive machine mind dialogue, which could be internal and it could be external. So what not to do first thing in the morning? Deliberately feed the passive machine mind with external sounds, images, um, to let the internal sounds and images, especially the unconscious ones and the stories, the identifications, the repeated language inside, don't let that fill up the consciousness first thing. So again, first thing, connect with one of the five energies to help you connect with your unique vibration, get into your unique flow state. Now, sometimes your unique flow state is to get into, it's comfortable, sometimes it's not too comfortable. It depends on where you're at and what, what's happening in your life. Um, but do your best. Step number two. Do something that's slightly uncomfortable, but it's good for your life purpose. It's good for your sphere of influence. It's good for the world. And they're very much related. So that's what I'm going to continue now in my morning routine, facing pain in this moment, in the section of my head where the skull is cut out, doing practices to could say take responsibility, but sometimes that has a, uh, it's like a, a have to, like a have to energy when we say taking responsibility, maybe even the word taking, you know, um, maybe something like I am going to embody my power. Where does power come from? It comes from love. It comes from great spirit. It comes from the earth. It comes from our intuition. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to embody my power by continuing this painful and beautiful morning that I co-created with the universe and the seeds of it many years ago. And now I'm experiencing the fruits of my past actions. And also I'm experiencing the opportunities in this moment because anything can be used for very, very beautiful things. Anything can be transmuted. So that's what I'm doing now. So I, I sometimes wonder if I could go back and change my timeline. Would I? If I could even bring healing to the past. Would I? Well, I've done some of those inner energy work practices and I kept on getting the clear message. Don't change any of the timelines in my life. Just be present with the former Ethan. So I went back to very painful, challenging experiences in my past. And I was 
the angel ally in that moment. And I didn't try to change or even bring healing. I was just present and let the former Ethan know that there's pure presence with him in that space. And I did that for like hundreds of experiences, as many as I can think of, um, that were challenging, traumatic, painful as a child. And then of course, at times it's also important to actually dialogue and do healing with different parts of ourselves um, in different times. Um, so you have to see what works for you as far as your own integration and evolution, self-healing and uh, support system healing. Yeah, so time to get in the freezing cold shower and quite literally self-healing, self-massage, self-acupressure. Um, what else? Uh, deep detoxification and regeneration of every cell in my mind and my body. Um, using every food available as a medicine every single moment that I interact with the food. As far as the food, keto, liquids, either in juices or high liquid uh, smoothie form, different forms of healing teas. I have a friend who harvests lion's mane and chaga mushrooms from the mountains in North Carolina, super high vibe uh, mushroom tea, um, super high vibe supplements, super high vibe water, um, frequency medicine, PEMF, FCT, Immuno, Rife, Biocharger. Using my mind, praying to a manual. Connecting with nature, connecting with the sun, the earth. Connecting with the body and trusting the wisdom of the body. Um, so in summary, when you wake up, connect with your unique vibration, especially the stillness energy and the void, and then engage with one of the five energies before moving forward, the body, the breath, the stillness energy, one of the three minds, ideally the active machine mind, consciously put a thought into your consciousness, which hopefully will awaken the living mind. That's the, the individual mind that's connected to the great mind, the mind of God the mind of the universe. That's where creativity and love comes through. The living mind is connected with the heart intelligence. So connect with the body, the breath, one of the three minds, the stillness energy, and the creativity energy. Get into your unique flow state first thing in the morning. Doesn't necessarily have to be long and hard or even moving throughout the body. You can have, you, your body can be in extreme pain and you could still be in your unique flow state. Um, so yeah, this is an important part of being a part of the new earth that we are moving into, staying connected to your unique vibration consistently as best as you can. This takes courage to do this. This is possibly the hardest thing in the world to do and the easiest thing in the world to do. Um, but if we do it, we embody this energy of staying connected to who we are those energies will go out throughout the whole universe. And then the outside world will reflect that. So wishing you the best in your morning routine. E3 here, embodied, empowered, and ecstatic. Just as I am, just as the world is. And may you be as well. E3 here, wishing you well.